You are watching the Power Sister Horses. This episode, Back to Pain Vision, by Richard Leland Neal. Hi, I'm Chuck Chatter, and this is at some point this was news with the Power Sister Horses. Today's story is about an invasion of bad toupees in Virginia coming to you from his living room. Here's your host, Dark Nice Nightmare. We're still in the living room. Surveillance footage from the studio still shows it's infested with eggplants. Why? Why won't he leave me alone? Run all you want. It will only make you taste all the better. Evil eggplants and living toupees. Horse apples. Nothing is too crazy to be true. The Virginia Department of Forestry has issued warnings about inch-long walking toupees invading its western counties. The toupees range from dark brown to gray, with some even having a striking resemblance to Donald Trump's hair. It's cute. Why is this a bad thing? All kinds of bald dolls will have hair now. The toupees are to be considered dangerous and should be avoided. Much like Russian women. Or you after cabbage. Here to tell us more about these evil, dangerous toupees is our very own Frank Podiatrist Foot. What you're looking at here is the larval stage of the southern flannel moth, seen here pooping. Often called the pusher Persian caterpillar, these little babies have been making the news for the last four years for their resemblance to Donald Trump's crazy hair. But what are they doing in Virginia? Most likely it's a byproduct of global warming. Climate change is expanding the range of this little critter. They're not unheard of in Virginia, just rarely found there. Okay, but... Why is everyone so worked up over these things? People look at them and think they'd be fun to pet and handle. They look like a Persian cat, but that's not fur they're covered with. What is it then? Those things are venomous barbs. Venomous barbs? Barb is a nice lady at the dentist. She gives me lollipops. Yeah, what would she do with Donald Trump's hair? Not barb isn't short for Barbara, but barb, like the thing at the end of a fish hook. They stick in your skin and they won't come out. That sounds terrible. They can cause rash, nausea, vomiting, and are generally unpleasant. Kind of like real Donald Trump. So what should people do if they see one of those evil, venomous, talking toupees? Leave them alone. The moth has natural predators which should control their population. Smacking the caterpillars can only send their barbs in the air and cause choking. It's best to give them a wide berth and wear gloves when you're gardening. It's generally a good idea to leave any wild animal you're not familiar with alone. And most of the ones that you are familiar with. Frank Foot, everyone. I am Cheddar, reminding you to comment, like, and subscribe, and eat your vegetables before they eat you. Prepare to make dinner, rodent. Thank <laughs> you.